Do you suffer from a saggy bottom? I know I do, I haven't been in the gym for about six months now, so I need to get back to the gym actually. But when it comes to your car seats, the side bolsters have sagged over time. So in today's video, we're gonna to attempt to fix the side bolsters on my Cooper seats. How's it going? I'm Kev and welcome to North Coast Workshop where you'll find car modification and DIY content. In today's video, we're going to be attempting to fix the side bolsters on my Cooper R seats. Now these are very nice diamond stitched quilted seats on the Cooper R. I've done about 95,000 miles in my car now and the side bolsters are getting pretty tatty and squashed, especially on the right hand side. Just from getting in and out of the car, this happens in all these cars and it probably happens in your car as well if you've got the sport seats with the big side bolsters. So what I'm going to do is attempt to try and fix them today in this video. Now please excuse the mess in the garage because I seem to be getting the place taken over by dolls houses and kids toys so I'm trying to step around the stuff you might see it in the background there. Now I've already got the seat out of the car it's actually sat here in the garage uh, on top of my suspension kit which I am going to get fitted at some point very soon. I'm still debating whether I take it to the garage and get in to do it for me and pay them for the labour or if I attempt it myself. I did ask a question on a forum a few days ago to see what their thoughts were. Some were saying yeah give it a go yourself you need a few special tools for it. Others were saying if you're not confident just put to a garage because it's a headache. We'll see what happens with that. That might be a video or it might just be a case of before and after shots after I've taken to a garage to get it done. And the process of taking out the car is pretty straightforward. It's just four bolts with a multi-spline tool to pull them out and then disconnect two multi-plugs for the airbags and the sensors inside the seats. Now, you might notice in the pictures that there's a lot of a kind of foam debris on the carpet. This seems to be a common issue with these seats is that the side bolsters wear and the actual powdery foam then just lands on the carpet below the seat. If you look under your seat, you can see if actually part of the bolster foam is on the carpet and this is where it's coming from. And hopefully as well with fixing this, I'm gonna try and seal off any debris or foam from coming back out because it's quite often there every time I hoover the car and it's quite annoying to have to hoover it up. Anyway, the foam I've got is this foam here that I bought on eBay. I can't mind how much it was or what it was called. I'll try and find the link and I'll put it down below in the description if I can find where I bought it from. But it's just, you can actually ask for different types of firmness of foam so you can get really firm stuff. I'm looking for fairly firm stuff for the side bolsters just so they don't wear so easily. Now the access point to get the foam in is quite tricky. I could take the whole frame off for the runners but that mechanism looks pretty complicated in this seat. So what I might do is just do the cheap way basically. I'm going to push up the side of the bolster and see if I can just tuck it in without taking anything else apart because I don't want to have the seat in bits and not get it back together again. So what we'll do now is we'll flip this seat over and we'll make a start underneath the seat to see how we get on. So I've elevated the seat off the box a bit so that the side bolster isn't actually sitting on anything and this just means it's got more space that I can actually pack stuff into without having resistance from sitting on the box itself. I'm going to be using a trim removal tool. It's got a bit of felt over the end of it. I just don't want to use anything too sharp in case I push it too far and it goes actually through the leather. And then I've just trimmed down a couple of pieces of the foam as well. You can see the mess that the, the old foam is leaving just as it kind of gets worn away. All the fibres of the foam are lying stuck to the frame of the seat. So I'm just going to look to pack this in, in this direction into the corner of the bolster. Seems using my hand is a bit easier. You just gotta watch because there are sharp bits in there so you don't want to get your fingers caught on something. It cuts in half actually. Just try and keep checking the bottom to make sure the bolster's shaping correctly. And just be really careful, these edges are really sharp on this metal frame. Right, I'll turn it over and see how that looks. So it's actually way better. I was quite impressed with how well it's turned out. Hopefully the next few weeks as I keep sitting on the seat, this will sink back in. It's because it's kind of raised the foam away from the frame below it and that's what's given this bit of excess material here. As for the bolster, it's filled that crease nicely. There was a big crease there that kind of just sagged over the edge. It's a lot firmer and stiffer. Obviously the damage is done with the creases and the cracks in the leather, yeah. but hopefully this will stop from getting any worse because it's now filled with padding again. And the crumbly bits that are below the seat on the carpet usually, hopefully that foam that I've put in place will stop any crumbly bits from landing on the carpet in future. It's by no means a proper fix, it's just a kind of temporary fix just now. 
if I had loads of money and spare cash, I would just get them sent off, get them retrimmed, get leather repaired, and get new padding put in as well. But sadly, I don't just now. This is kind of quick fix, and it's really cheap as well to do with the foam that you can buy online. So if your side bolsters as well and your seats are suffering as well, then give this a try and see how you get on. Let me know in the comments how it went for you. Or have you done it already before yourself and have you had successful results from it? So all that's left now is to get these seats back into the car, but first of all we'll give that carpet a quick hoover and get all that foam debris out of the way. So that's seats back in the car now and definitely the side bolster is looking a lot better. There's not that saggy bottom, so to speak, <laughs> that I used to have. It's not by no means perfect and it's not like factory fresh, but definitely a massive improvement for the cost of five, six quid for a piece of foam. So hopefully you found the video useful for yourself. And if you have, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as always and subscribe down below to catch more content from the channel. We've got loads more videos coming in the future. We've got hopefully a North Coast 500 video this year and also more modifications, including getting suspension fitted to the car. So yeah, stick around for that. And you might notice when I was fitting the seats back into the car that in my center console, I have this fast charge USB socket, which I cover in this video up here. So give that a click. It can apply to any car at all and not just Mark II Leon. So yeah, give that video a watch and I'll catch you on the next time. Cheers.